Visit trb.fyi slash disclaimers for a full disclaimer and liability notice. When handling or working on firearms, safety should always be first. Visit trb.fyi for an article about the tools that we used in this video. The Beretta Model 92 was designed in the early 1970s and was an evolution of the 1923 and 1951 models. Production began in May of 1976. Push the slide to the rear and push up on the slide stop to hold the slide to the rear. I use a zip tie to show that there's nothing in the chamber or the barrel, as well as the magwell. This firearm is unloaded and safe to be handled. To remove the slide from the frame, we're going to locate the disassembly button on the right side of the frame and push it in. Now we're going to locate the disassembly lever on the left side of the frame and rotate it downwards. Once it's in the full downward position, you can release the button. Resist the temptation to press down on the slide lock. Instead, push the slide back a little to release it and now pull the slide off the frame. Like most semi-automatic pistols, the 92 and 96 recoil spring assembly rests on the front lug of the barrel. Always use eye protection when working with springs. We are going to slightly compress the recoil spring assembly while pulling it down and out of the slide slowly to relieve the tension on the spring. Now pull the recoil spring from the guide rod. To remove the barrel, we're going to push the locking block plunger while pushing the barrel assembly forward slightly. Then we can remove the barrel from the bottom of the slide. For this step, we are going to need the barrel and slide assemblies. Insert the muzzle of the barrel assembly into the top opening of the slide and push up on the rear to finish installing the barrel. For this step, we're going to need the recoil spring and guide rod. Simply insert the spring onto the guide rod. For this step, we are going to need our recoil spring assembly and the slide assembly with the barrel installed. We are going to insert the end of the recoil spring assembly into the bottom hole of the slide and compress it so that the back of the guide rod will seat into the locking block cutaway. The back of the guide rod is held into the locking block cutaway by spring tension.
For the final step of reassembly, you're going to need your completed slide assembly and your frame. Align the slide onto the frame guide rails and push it to the rear as far as you can. Then push up on the slide lock to capture the slide. Now rotate the disassembly latch rearward and release the slide so that it comes home. Your firearm is now reassembled. If you find our videos helpful, consider supporting us for free by using our affiliate links and banners on our site or by donating to us on Patreon. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. It helps us more than you realize. Thank you for watching. Visit trb.fyi for additional content on this video. You can also support us on Patreon and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.